remember how excited some people were about Sunrail coming to town. Cars full to capacity, platforms crowded, and riders were full of hope about the future of mass transit in Central Florida. But not everyone is completely satisfied. In fact, some riders wish the trains ran longer during the day and on the weekends. There's even a petition by some of the people who are upset about what Sunrail doesn't offer. Ginger Gaston joins us now to explain all of this. Ginger? Matt and Lisa, regular riders are saying Sunrail needs to expand its weekday hours and operate on weekends. One of those riders is David Porter. He's now spearheading a petition drive and just yesterday he put this video on YouTube in hopes of getting Sunrail's attention and it's already getting a lot of response from people who were initially excited about Sunrail. The biggest disappointment people have with, with the system as it is right now is that it doesn't function you know, on the weekends and it doesn't function you know, late at night. Porter says that people automatically assume the trains run each day. He says if Sunrail would take a look at its regular riders, like people who work in Orlando International Airport or the hospital systems who work irregular hours, the decision would be a no-brainer. These are all people who use a system, who need a system like this seven days a week, except that's not what we actually have. And, you know, and I, and I don't really know why they paint themselves into, into, into a corner and they don't seem to be really flexible. Now, we asked Sunrail to comment about the change.org petition, and this is what they said in part. Per agreements with our local and federal government partners, as well as with CSX Transportation, weekend and late-night service was not contemplated for the start of Sunrail service. However, as demand grows and funding becomes available, there is an option to expand hours of service in the future. Now, the Central Florida Commuter Rail Commission meets Monday, July 21st, to talk about this issue. By the way, Sunrail trains are available for rent. For example, if the Orlando Magic wanted to provide train service to and from games, it could be expensive. And so far, there are no specific deals in place to make that happen, but people are still hopeful about it. Now, if you'd like to sign a petition, head to clickorlando.com, click on Seen on Six Tuesdays Stories. Matt. All right, Ginger, thank you. This is a wild story now. An accused carjacker in San... You know, plenty of people have taken advantage of the Sunrail commuter train. The current route, of course, as you know, runs from DeBerry to Orlando Monday through Friday. Yeah, that's it. But a local man thinks the train should run on weekends, too. So he started an online petition. Fox 35's Holly Bristow reports. <laughs> Right now, Sunrail runs a schedule of trains from 6.15 in the morning until 10.18 at night. But riders like David Porter, who likes the rail so much he started the site sunrailriders.com, want more. So he penned a change.org petition asking Sunrail to run later at night and offer weekend service. I'm a great fan of Sunrail. I want to see it reach its full potential. And so people are saying they're a little bit disappointed that all we get is five days a week. Porter says Sunrail could reel in a whole new demographic of passengers if they just ran an hour or so later during the week so people could take it home from a leisurely dinner or even a magic game. We, we, we see it, we love it, we ride it, we want it all the time. And I think that's a great compliment to Sunrail. At least 1,323 people agree with Porter. So far, that's how many have signed the petition in just the last four days. Amazing. So is Sunrail spokesperson Steve Olson. Oh, it's refreshing to see this. The discussions are probably going to be starting here and, and see where this dialogue takes us. So far, Sunrail has been a success. The Florida Department of Transportation said a goal of reaching 4,300 boards a day by the end of their first year in operation. Right now, they're already averaging 4,176 boards a day. So what would it take for Sunrail to run later and on weekends? There would need to be a regional community consensus, you know, to, to move this forward. There would need to be an identified funding source of, you know, how much it's going to cost and who's going to fund it and how it's going to be funded moving forward. Uh, it, there would have to be broad-based su support from it from, from those uh, that would fund it and, and bring it forward. Olson says that decision would need to be made by FDOT along with lawmakers in Volusia, Seminole, Orange, and Osceola counties, as well as the city of Orlando. Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. Technology is certainly changing.